Hello and welcome back to yet another yapping with me, Flow News the Wizard. Now this time I'm going to take up that thing that I left in empty phrases. Uh, I was talking about a special phrase that Americans use that I totally, totally loathe. I think it's the most stupid phrase you could ever use in any type of circumstance or situation. Everything's gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Usually when we see this or hear this, it's in a movie, of course, it's probably there, it was invented, but it always, it, the, the guy is lying there in a war movie and he's shot totally gone, all he has left is one arm and a head, rest is just blood, and suddenly someone his captain or the hero anyway it has to be the hero leans over him and going saying everything's going to be fine soldier no it's not he's going to die we all know he's going to die why are you telling him that everything's going to be fine it's some sort of comforting words <laughs> what's that useful for we don't need that at that point and everywhere you go everything's going to be fine you're hanging by your fingernails mm, at a bridge and someone leans out and says just hang in there everything's gonna be fine and then your nail broke now I have tried to track this down sort of and it seems like I mostly hear this um, in movies or TV shows because it seems like that is something they have to say and every time I hear it it sounds totally utterly stupid because everybody including the guy who says it has to be totally aware of no it's not going to be fine it's not going to be all right never they are going to die, they're going to be chopped out in little pieces, they're going to be burned. Everything that can go wrong will be going wrong. So, uh, after judging this a couple of times, I'm getting bored with it. Um, even when I'm watching something, I lower my grades because that sentence is coming up. But do you really use this in your daily life is this something that you are using you americans out there in your everyday life because these situations when you need to say that uh, is probably more of a not so life-threatening situations let's say for instance that you get an extra bill and you have to raise another two three hundred dollars I don't know what that will mean but to me that will probably mean that okay the next three months are not going to be that great but once we have fixed this everything's gonna be okay again and that's something else again it's back to normal because normal for me is when everything is all right and that means that <laughs> I'm feeling fine, I'm doing fine and all that and nothing else is bad. So every time it's going a dip, you just say, well, it will be back on track later on. No big problem. Because if you don't do that, you're most likely going to be digging your dip deeper. You have to have a positive mind, right? But I don't feel like everything's going to be all right that's not a positive thing or usually when we hear it now however <laughs> there is this other side of things and the other side in this case is religion or god or whatever you're using for a, a meta form for it but if you're saying to a dying man that everything is going to be okay you probably mean that you will go to heaven and you will have a great time there. Uh, it might actually be that because I think like if there's a priest or anything that is saying this, hold it. No, I haven't seen any movie where the priest says that. They don't say that at all. Who is saying this mostly? Heroes. 
Okay, back down. But otherwise, if it were in a religious purpose to comfort you for the afterlife, okay, you can use it. But that's not really the case. And it's irritating. It's so irritating to hear this, especially when it's totally off topic. It's totally off everything that is going on. That is the least last thing you need to say. Mm. Please, if there's anyone, probably American, who can explain why you use such a, sorry to say, shitty phrase, please tell me. I would be very grateful for it. Thank you.